History of the Great Falls Building by Delia Demers, Auburn Middle School, May 2011. Over the years, Great Falls Multipurpose Building served many needs for the residents of Auburn, such as Great Falls Elementary School, Community Little Theater, the Share Center, Edward Little High School, and the Dance Center. The Academy originally started off as a small red schoolhouse constructed in 1837. The students were from Auburn, Lewiston, Danville Junction, Poland, and Minot. The students were considered some of the best in the country, Lewiston Evening Journal, 1903. It was made possible by none other than Edward Little, a generous man who donated lots of money toward the education in Auburn. It should not be inferred that Squire Edward Little has been forgotten, only that his work may not be known to many. Lewiston Journal, 1957. Edward Little got 10 people together and donated $3,000 and an 8-acre piece of land called Rye Field. He also donated a house at 260 Main Street for teachers to live in. In 1866, the school was renamed Edward Little Institute after Edward Little himself, who passed away in 1849. Then, in 1873, it was said that the state would give money to any town who ran a public school. So Edward Little Institute was given to the city because it had been a private school before that. In 1877, a 3,000-pound bronze statue was made in Rome by Franklin Simmons. It was placed in front of the school as a reminder of who made the school possible. The seven-foot statue has watched over many generations of Auburn high schoolers. Lewis and Daily Sun, 1978. But in 1883, the schoolhouse burnt to the ground. This was a tragic time for students, but they decided to build another, bigger building in the same spot. As it was being constructed, classes were held in Auburn Hall. Finally, after two years, the building was finished in 1885. This building is considered the old section of the present building. The lighter brick represents the old section and the redder brick that represents the newer section of the school. And you can see how they're really divided. And you can also see how the, the newer one is higher than the older one. Then, in 1930, there was an expansion to the school, tripling its size. This added classrooms, a theater, and a library. In 1943, there was another fire, destroying the entire third floor and the belfry. The third floor still stands today, but it has low ceilings and many charred pieces that used to be walls. In 1961, the school changed again to a school for 6th and 7th grade special education since the new Edward Little building was being built. Edward Little High School will keep the same name it has had since the late 1800s, even though it has changed location. Lewis and Union Journal, 1961. Another change was put into place in 1970. It changed into Central Middle School, one of two middle schools in Auburn. It had grades 6, 7, and 8. Finally, in 1981, the school changed one last time into an intermediate school called Central Intermediate, which had grades 4, 5, and 6. The children began to call the school Central Mental. This called for a name change. It was decided by the students and teachers to call the school Great Falls Elementary School. It stayed like this until the fall of 1997, when they decided to close the school. It was handed over to the city and served as a multi-purpose building. It is now home to many organizations. Now plans call for closing the western section of the Great Falls Performing Arts Center, leasing the eastern side's community little theater for $1, Twin City Times 2011. No matter what ends up happening to the school, it was a very useful building for Auburn residents of many generations. James Smith? Yes, dear teacher. You know your lessons for today? Yes, teacher. Dear, dear teacher. Just stop red appling me and let's get started here. <laughs> And you rolled on my sleigh 
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is your chorus. I'd like everybody to join in. Come on now, don't be backward. Everybody sing. Ready? One, uh, two. <laughs> Let's try it again. <laughs> 